Press editor Megan Grevy. Here's a look at the Tuesday, February 18th edition of the Herald Press. In tomorrow's paper, we will take a look at the winter weather, which is going on now. Um, let's see, uh, the weather caused uh, all the schools in the Huntington County Community School Corporation to um, dismiss an hour ahead of schedule. Let's see here. There were some roads that were covered in drifts, at least partially. Um, the weather uh, is supposed to cause between 3 and 5 inches of snow between now and the evening. And there's also the possibility of a mix of snow. Some parts of the county will get snow and sleet. And then it's supposed to rain later in the week. It's just a continued winter mess. So be careful driving. If you don't have to go out, don't. And um, just be safe out there. Also in tomorrow's paper, uh, Emmalyn Emmy Proviance Hen passed away Thursday, and she has left a legacy that has touched so many organizations in Huntington. Um, this lady was involved in uh, the Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, Tri Kappa Chai, uh, Dan Quayle Museum. She was instrumental in um, Restore the LaFontaine Hotel. She I didn't know her personally, but she sounds like an amazing, an amazing lady. So her uh, funeral is actually tomorrow, and a lot of people uh, we talked to said, you know, she was she was a great lady. She was very, you know, a big a big asset to the community, and they're very, very sad to hear that she has passed away. She passed away at the age of 87. So uh, for more on her life, check out tomorrow's paper. Also in tomorrow's paper, uh, the Relay for Life has kicked off and is looking for teams. Uh, that event will be June 14th and 15th at Creek Bomb Field. As it was um, last year, they're like I said, they're still looking for teams, and they're still kind of hashing out the details of what what's all going to be involved. Obviously, there will be the survivors' dinner, the survivor survivors' walk, but you know, as far as bands and other activities, they're still kind of still kind of working on it. So check that out um, on the home and garden page. We look at a few ideas from the Boys and Girls Club on how to fight cabin fever with. More snow coming, and the possibility of kiddos possibly missing more days of school. Uh, this might be an interesting read for parents out there whose kids might be getting a little antsy from being inside so much. In sports, uh, the Huntington University men are set to play the University of St. Francis Tuesday at 6.30, and then they host Taylor at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Um, they are one game behind number one IWU in the Crossroad League Conference. They are one game ahead of everybody in third place. So it's uh, this is kind of a important time for it's not kind of it is an important time of the season for them to try to maintain um, being number one or number two in the in the league going into the uh, going into tournament time. So these are some some big games coming up for the uh, for the Foresters. Um, on Saturday, both the men's and the women's teams played Grace College. Um, the men beat Grace College 64 to 62 in a close one, and the women beat Grace College 57 to 39. So, recaps of those stories are in tomorrow's paper. Um, that's a quick look at tomorrow's paper. If you, uh, <laughs> we hope you pick up a copy and stay safe out there.